The other one, it's not one person. Ancestral worship where a chicken was used. A chicken has been used and the blood of chicken. And the person I'm talking about, you suffer with stomach. Specifically, this one, you suffer with the stomach issues. We are from ancestral worship and it's in the family where they've been using a chicken. They've used the chicken and they would use the blood of chickens. And your stomach suffers. You suffer with the stomach. You're watching me right now. The word of the Lord has come upon you to set you free. But this is not one person. This is not one person with the issue of ancestral worship where they were using chickens. God loves you. And the next one, you have more pressure in your head, which makes your eyes to be itchy and heavy. You have more pressure. It's like one is going to be mad because you go with dizziness and you don't understand what is happening with your head, with your mind, and you don't really perform well. You're watching me right now. God is with you. It's pressure inside the head. You feel pressure, which causes the eyes to also feel dim. And you see yourself, your mind, you just, it's like your mind, you forget easily. You're watching me right now. God loves you. You're watching me right now. The light, the light of God shines on you. The other one is this one with the head. It makes you suffer. You're troubled. God is with you. Papa, I have a prophecy confirmation mm -hmm. about um, about um, um, the prophecy of chickens. Um, on my side is my father who used to do before he passed on every time Mojarate, and they used to slaughter chickens. I don't know what would they do with the blood, but no. it used to be such. And Papa, another prophecy confirmation is someone who would feel like their, their mind is clouded. And whenever I study, I feel like I'm delayed and my body gets tired quickly. I would just think to myself that I didn't do a lot, but even now my body, I was intending to do schoolwork today, but my body was very tired after I came from the library. Lord, the Lord penetrates you right now and you command this evil maid, this covenant of chickens made, this covenant of ancestral worship, your chickens, your darkness, your spirit, you come out of their lives. We break this curse in this family. The word of the Lord penetrates you. This shall never happen to you anymore. We declare strength upon your body. You're now out of dusty ashes in the Lord's marvelous light. In Jesus' name. How are you feeling your body now? Um, uh, I began to feel better as you were ministering to other people. Nah, it's over. God is with you. It's over. It's finished. You'll bring your testimony. Yes, Papa. And another thing that I need help with is that during the week, um, my sister was fighting my mother about, um, she claims that um, Mama Uji Lady Chaleteta Papa after Papa passed on. And I'm not sure that what she's saying is the truth, or I don't think is the truth. So I was thinking of talking to her, but I don't because wa ora Papa. The word of the Lord touches her conscience. The power of God touches her heart. The Lord has come upon her and your mom to set them all free and give you life. Father, we declare peace, your peace in this family. In Jesus' name, amen. No, don't worry. Don't speak to her. Leave her for a while. Okay. It's with the God. Okay, Papa. Thank yeah, you so much. You. You'll bring a testimony. Thank you, Papa. Amen. Blessed views. That was Masako Daniel from Soweto. She had a prophecy confirmation concerning um, the slaughtering of chicken during rituals. She says that her father used to do the ancestral ritual in the yard and they would slaughter chickens. However, she does not know what they were doing with the blood. And her second prophecy confirmation is about someone who would feel like their mind is clouded. She's saying that she would experience this whenever she's studying and she would feel like she's delayed and her body would get tired quickly. She's saying that even now she was 
planning to do her schoolwork but was feeling tired after she came from the library. Then our father ministered life light unto our sister. Then our father asked how she was feeling. Then she said, as our father was busy ministering to other people, she got better. She was no longer feeling the tiredness anymore. Then her other prayer request was that um, her sister during the week fought with her mother saying that the mother ate their father's money after the father passed away. And She's saying that she was thinking of talking to her, but she did not because her sister is a person who likes to fight a lot. Then she's asking for our father to pray for both her sister and the mother. Then our father prayed and ministered life light unto both um, Masiko's sister and the mother. And our father advised her that she must not speak to her as yet. And we believe that as our father ministered, our sister Masiko will come with a beautiful testimony to God be the glory.